account ni Don Karin de Villa Series Plus. That's my cocoa. <laughs> We're going to cook something healthy today again, guys. This is fish with tofu and tausi. Perfect for the Lenten season as well. We will do a lot of frying today, so get your oils ready. And first, we're gonna fry our tofu till it's golden brown. Piece of advice, don't overcrowd your pan and you may fry your tofu in batches. Once all sides are golden brown, set this aside. We have here some tanige. Of course, you may use other fish like bangus or cream dory. I just like tanige because I grew up eating this from my dad's cooking and he always used tanige. Right now, I'm adding some cornstarch and then I'm gonna add some flour. Last thing, we need to add some water. Make sure it, it's not too runny. It's time to fry our fish. Again, do it in batches. When frying fish, make sure that your oil is hot enough. Use the chopstick method. Dip it in the oil. Pag maraming bubbles na surrounding the chopstick that is hot enough. Also, wag baliktad na baliktad bak ma, ma ka durug durug yung fish niya. 
it's time to make the sauce of our fish. So let's cook some ginger first. Next, we'll cook our onions until translucent. And then we'll add our minced garlic. This recipe calls for some tau si or black beans and we're going to add some to our dish. We'll cook this for a few minutes. We'll add some water next and bring this to a boil. Right now I'm adding some ground pepper. few drops of oyster sauce mix everything together To help thicken our sauce, we'll add some slurry. This is about 2 tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with 2 tablespoons of water. It's time to marry all our ingredients. Let's add the tofu and the fish. Always taste your food. You may need to adjust salt, the pepper, if you want chili flakes to be added here as well, knock yourself out.
Lastly, I'm adding some onion leeks. Get your dinner plates ready, guys! This is your perfectly splendid fish with tofu and tau si. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next week.